how to use the Photoshop texturizer filter PC or Mac to create effects such as this. Put an image here. What you need to do is go to Filter and then Filter Gallery. And in Filter Gallery, go all the way down to Texture and then select Texturizer. In Texturizer, you can see you've got the options for all the other filters. I'm just going to use Texturizer. And the texture I'm using is Liquify 2. It's a PSD file. It needs to be a Photoshop format file, PSD. So right click and then you can load the texture. So simply load the texture and select the file. In this case, this one and load. And then you've got options here for scaling. So you can change the scale. So you can just change it like that. Now you can see there's a line there. It's not seamless. It's based on the document itself. Also the relief. So you can change the relief and you can see you get obviously a much more pronounced effect there. You can also change the light. So you can go for top right, top left. Sadly, there's no radial sort of option, an angle feature. That would be nice. And you can also invert, which is basically the same as obviously top left, use bottom right. You can also add more than one texture. So you've got here, you notice here, texturizer. Go right down the bottom, there's a little plus, and you can click that. So click that and you can see then you can add another. Now, by default, it just duplicates. So you've got two of the same. But what you can do, select that one, and then go here, load texture, and you can select a different file. So PSD there, or another one like this one, or this one, and then click load. And you can see the result, it's added on top, and you can remove it. Simply go down the bottom and delete, click OK. You can always go to the filter and filter gallery and apply the texturizer again. So if you do it again, it will be just added on to this. But you can also go to edit and fade filter gallery. That's a great option, so you click that. And instead of having normal, which is this one, you can change the opacity, so you make it a lot less, so you can make it fainter, or you can go for darken or multiply, and that creates obviously different results there. Multiply, or maybe difference, and so on. You can create some very interesting designs simply by just tweaking this. I'm just gonna cancel that. How to create the initial design, the PSD file? Well, for me, all I do is create with the same document. So I've got this image here, and for the one I've just been using, I just go to filter, and liquify. Liquify is a great one for creating nice swirly designs that you can use as textures. Go with this one, the first option here, forward warp, and simply make some pin edges on and apply a brush. And you can apply all kinds of distortions. Just go around rapidly like that and click OK. You can always go to filter and liquify, reapply it, and that creates a very intense design. The PSD file needs to be black and white. What you can do, you can go to image, adjustments, and you can tweak it a bit further. So black and white, you can make it maybe far blacker. It's up to you how you want to tweak it and click OK. So once you've done that, simply go to File and then you can save it. So File, Save As, and I'm just going to say Liquify 3. And then you can use that in the texturizer. You can also use it in Displace and other filters as well. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions about the texturizer filter, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want information about any of the other filters, of course, I've only touched upon a few features of the texturizer. You can use it with channels, you can use it with layers, and much, much more. A like or dislike, always appreciated, and also please subscribe to the channel. Always add new tutorials about Finity Photo, Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, and many other graphic applications. Bye.